All right, so today we're doing liquid cultures. Liquid cultures are, you know, better than waiting spores germinating for a week. You might as well just, you know, make some liquid cultures and then you can shoot it right into whatever you want to use and you're good to go. It cuts down the time a lot quicker. Um, I prefer just keeping it simple. I, I sort of like the half-ass stuff a lot of times and quite frankly the caro and water liquid culture is just the easiest it's better you're going to basically just take 300 milliliters of water you want a five percent sugar ratio so that's 15 milli 15 milliliters of caro or roughly one tablespoon you just add the caro to the water mix it up and then throw it in your pc and sterilize it you know a lot of people do it for like 15 20 minutes personally i run it through a full cycle just to be safe since I do mold work. Uh, so we're going to pour out the caro. You can also use honey or agave or maple or pretty much any type of natural sugar that you can find. You just mix it up and then put it into jars. I know you can buy caps with injection ports and everything and all that and that's great if you have the extra money to spend on them. Personally I'm cheap so I take my lids and just drill two holes in them. I got in the habit of putting Tyvek under my lids for my PF cakes and I do it for the liquor cultures too just for shits and giggles so afterwards um, I will put micro pour tape over the holes as well and then if you really want to like make your own self and in healing injection port you can always put a dab of like silicone on top of the um, spot where the hole was leave one for air exchange and then you've got your own little self-healing port. You don't want to do it before you PC it though because it'll suck it right through the hole or it'll just melt it and turn it into a mess. I prefer making multiple liquid cultures anyway just in case something gets contaminated where I work with mold all day when I come home I bring it with me sometimes and uh, it there's so many ways to do everything now it, you know, it's really great back in the day when I started back when we created Shroomatopia it, like everybody was like dead nose about doing everything one way and they'd throw fits if you did it some other way but there's there's a gazillion ways to do things I prefer it go the easiest route with the less effort and as little being spent as possible. Alright, so now my lids are on, I got my freaking fake Tyvek under it. I ended up running out of Tyvek. I usually use the uh, um, mail envelopes from the post office, the priority ones. Alright, so as you can see, I taped up the holes. I had to trim the excess Tyvek off the in, the uh, outside because this stuff was made from Tyvek suits and it's got some sort of plastic crap over it that melts if it touches the side of the PC. Um, once I take it out of the PC, I'll just use it as is, but if you want you can put a dab of uh, like silicone on it to make like a self-healing port. Since I'm using a still air box to knock stuff up, it doesn't really matter. And then after you inoculate it, you know, a week or so goes by and then you'll see Mike that looks like like this floating around, nice and healthy mycelium. And you can just suck it up and shoot it in whatever you want and save yourself a week of waiting for the spores to germinate. Alright, if you like this video, subscribe. There'll be more content. Obviously this is a new channel, so I'm just doing the basics right now. I don't have a editing software or anything but uh just want to get put out the the basic stuff make it easy to get going and we'll go from there all right thank you and 
Have a great day. Happy shrooming.